Hi there, Berhi here again. Today I have a scrapbook layout for you to show and um, a small tutorial on how to use Kelly Creates watercolor pencils. Um, I just got them and I must say I really love them. They are super easy to use. Um, I'm just opening the package and starting to color. That's it. <laughs> so it's really an easy thing to do. Um, I have one of the older Wiki Pudding uh, foundations paper what I'm using now because that's where the watercolors are better to use than on regular cardstock. But if you use regular paper or even patterned paper, just add some gesso and you are good to go. Um, I just want to test some, try them out. So I'm coloring and trying to mix blue and uh, yellow and I think that works well. So what I do after coloring, I'm going in with um, water, this time with Kelly Creates um, water brush, which has really fine tip. They are really beautiful and nice uh, for very detailed images, like stamped images. And um, as you can see, by adding water, the magic happens and you will have green by mixing yellow and blue. Uh, if I would add a bit of red here, <laughs> that would end up uh, with brown and that's something I want to avoid. Um, but I decided on creating a scrapbook layout and um, making some embellishments for the layout. So what I'm doing is that I'm stamping with stars and now going to color them the way I want to have them. Uh, I'm using Let's Wonder collection from American Crafts and Vicky Putin. Uh, it has really strong colors, but the color scheme is really wide, so <laughs> anything goes, which is fun. Um, so I just want to try different colors. Well, different and different. <laughs> now I'm using the same blue, but anyway, uh, I want to try all the colors. That's why I also um, stamped a lot of stars. But um, I love fuzzy cutting and I love coloring, so this is my favorite job to do. So once the uh, star is completely colored, I'm going again with water with this fine tip water brush and as you can see it's really good uh, for the small details like the balloons or how do you want to call them maybe not balloons maybe just circles but anyway I'm coloring it and once the stars are completely dry I will cut them out uh, the stamp set, stamp and die set has dies for the stars, for all three th stars you can see here. But I decided on using scissors um, because I don't want to have any white line next to the black line. So I'm using scissors, but you can go a bit easier if you hate using scissors and use the dies. Um, the dies actually goes with any cutting machine, I think, so no matter if you have a big shot or something else, you can still use them. Uh, here's a couple of pictures again. So color it, add some water, with water brush or regular brush and then cut it out. I really love this. These are, these are so simple to use. Um, for the layout, I'm using the same paper as I used with the stars because I have an idea of adding something to the background. But um, first I'm going to use this black ink water um, 
what's the word? <laughs> that water still look like the waterproof. Thank you, my friends. Uh, I'm using <laughs> waterproof black ink and um, just stamping a couple of words, happy moment and beautiful places here and there. Also, the documented or documenting um, is there, but um, I just like to have some details and some words on the background. Um, I'm scrapbooking these two pic uh, pictures and the story behind them is like so long. Um, I decided on writing it to the background, uh, to the back side of the layout, but um, <coughs> it didn't fit there actually. So I took another paper and <laughs> added it there, but now that the layout is um, in my album, there's that um, extra paper just next to the layout, so you can see the lovely story and maybe even read it if you have a lot of time. Um, I'm thinking about how to decorate the page. I want to have both of the photos here as they are now and then lovely blooms and stars around. Um, in the Let's Wonder collection there are lots of different things to fussy cut. So I'm really having fun now. Um, usually I'm doing this thing, splicing around colors um, in the end, but this time I decided to do it first. So I have a couple of um, color signs from Swap, and I'm just adding a couple of drops here and there for a bit gold and black. Then I'm adding some thread. Why? Because I want to have some some softness to the page. There are a really high contrast between white and black um, and the colors are too quite dark. So I want to have something soft there. I even added um, some thread to the pictures. As you can see, there's some thread added and I really like it. I could use thread all the time for all my creations and if you take a really good look you can actually see that there are thread almost on my every creation. Um, but that's let's talk more about this layout and not thread. So as you can see I decided on adding those two pictures and now a couple of bigger blooms and then couple of bigger stars and um, I'm adding them to them the way that uh, the bigger ones are really close to the photos and the smaller ones are closer to the edges of the paper. And I'm finishing the whole creation process with uh, coloring up some stamped stars. I stamped them just a minute ago because I wanted to try something with the stars and I like the way I can add small details afterwards. So I just colored them and now added some water and that's it. Super easy. Um, and now the layout is finished and I'm, I'm very happy. Uh, I hope you have learned something. At least I hope you are inspired in some way. And um, I'm really grateful for all the comments and subscribing my channel and everything you have done for me and watching my videos and blah blah blah. I could talk about this forever. But anyway, thank you for watching and have a happy crafty day. Bye!